Welcome to Patrick Scale Studio. My name is Patrick. This is Woody. We'll be your hosts. Now I realize it's been over a month since my last video and as often happens, life gets in the way. Um, so had poison ivy three different times in the last 30 days. That has been pleasant. Um, got a close family member struggling with cancer. So we're working with them as well. And frankly, I got work and a lot of other things to do as well. The build slip though right now is what is hindering any start to actually working with the plastic on the USS Yorktown. So we're gonna go into a quick video to show you what I'm planning on doing with that building slip. This here is the custom build slip that I'm going to be using for USS Yorktown. Um, and I needed to make it uh, just as sturdy as possible so I could use it with the uh, Enterprise CV-6 and the Hornet CV-8 eventually. Yorktown's first though. Um, as you can see, this is comprised of three layers of MDF. It's a really good end here showing that off. And as you can see, I've cut a rebate into both sides of this that go the entire length. And as you can see, there's a slot cut through all the way. That also goes the entire length. And that is so I can put quarter inch bolts through there with a one inch washer on it. And the reason I did that was so that, I'll flip this over here. I can have some uprights that I can move as needed. And what this will do, there's one for the other side, one for this side here. What this will allow me to do is get perfect perpendicular to the center line of the ship um, profile spots. So I can mark down on the hull exactly where I need to put one of those uh, templates on there to show where I need to add or subtract plastic in order to get the hull into what I believe is going to be the correct shape. As you can see there, these move and they will probably move independently. I'm still kind of working on that and a little bit undecided. But uh, also, I'm gonna put this down here for a second. I ended up getting some of this adhesive measuring tape. It's made out of a real, real thin stainless steel. And I'll be able to adhere this down to both sides and it'll give me a lot better uh, accurate idea if I'm measuring from the plans and converting from that 1 192nd to 1 200 I'll be able to accurately measure where those spots are on the plans where I need to adjust the whole of the ship. So this is approximately five feet long which should allow me to put the four foot long hole down here and be able to get just from the bow all the way back to the stern properly. And mainly this is just gonna be used for only marking off the hull, um, having it situated. I'm not sure yet if we're going to be, I'm not sure yet if we're going to be building the ship after I get the hull corrected while it's on here, but the hull will be attached to this piece of plywood right here. Um, so that I can take it off and put it back on as needed. Um, so this isn't 100% perfectly square, um, but it's about as square as it's going to get in the heat and humidity of Ohio during the summer months right now. Um, wood just tends to sometimes warp and do kind of what it wants to do. So I did, also that's the main decision behind the MDF. It's a little bit more stable than just some of this pine. If I could afford aluminum, I would have gotten, I would have gone that route. But uh, I think that we're going to be in good shape here to get this all put together and get the get the hole into into the correct shape that it needs to be into. Um, I can provide plans or measurements for those that might be interested in doing this on their own. But uh, for the most part, it just was three two by four sheets 
half inch MDF. So that's the build slip so far and it is nearing completion.